This video illustrates the calculation of voltage drop in a long wire run of a PV array. This calculation is common in larger PV arrays. Wires in photovoltaic systems have a small inherent resistance that depends on the wire gauge. We must ensure that the voltage does not drop too much due to the resistance of long wires. We can use NEC Chapter 9, Table 8, which lists DC resistance in ohms per 1,000 feet to determine if our voltage will drop too much over the length of the wire. A PV array has a rated maximum power current I sub MP of 20 amps and a maximum power voltage V sub MP of 34 volts. The output circuit conductors run 40 feet from the array junction box to the array disconnect. What is the smallest wire size that will limit the voltage drop to less than 2% in this circuit? The first thing that we need to do is determine the allowable voltage drop. Multiply 34 volts by 2% for an allowable drop of 0.68 volts. Next, we determine the maximum conductor resistance allowed for the PV output circuit using the allowable drop and the given current. We can use Ohm's law and rearrange to solve for the resistance using the allowable voltage drop and current. Plugging the numbers in, 0.68 volts divided by 20 amps is a resistance of 0.034 ohms. Since we have both a positive and a negative wire between the junction box and the disconnect, the travel length of the photovoltaic output circuit conductors is 40 feet times 2, or 80 feet. Therefore, the maximum resistance allowed per 1,000 feet of round-trip conductor length is 0 0.034 ohms divided by 80 feet times 1,000 feet, which comes out to be 0 0.425 ohms per, per kilo foot. Now we use NEC Chapter 9, Table 8 to determine which wire this resistance corresponds to. The wire resistance must not be higher than the calculated 0 0.425 ohms per kilo foot. If the value is higher than this number, then the current flowing through the resistance will reduce the voltage at the disconnect below the 2% threshold. The DC resistance for 6 AWG conductors is too high, but 4 AWG satisfies the 2% voltage drop requirement for this application. 